And it's time now for the Wall Street Beat. We're looking how Wall Street is preparing for election night. It's the subject of today's Big Take, co-authored by Catherine Burton from Bloomberg, who joins us now on set. And I, this first quote you have in the story, tomorrow is going to be a blindfolded mud wrestle in a minefield. Um, you're not seeing quite that level of anxiety in markets yet, <laughs> but you know, I'm very curious to what people are watching for tomorrow night. Not yet. Let's just say. I mean, already we've seen markets turn a little bit today, which is pretty interesting because up until then, people were kind of betting that Trump would win. So, uh, but it, people are preparing uh, with a lot of hedges. Uh, as I said, they were kind of leaning into the Trump trade, but we can see today that their conviction is maybe not as much as we had thought before. So, what do your sources um, define as the Trump trade? Is it uh, you know, selling treasuries? Is it buying the dollar? Is it uh, buying shares in DJT? What is the Trump trade to the people that you're talking to? Uh, mostly just long stocks, short bonds, long crypto, long dollar. Let's talk about the people themselves. Uh, I love this part of the story. Uh, of course, there's staffing levels. That's interesting to think about. There's also what people are eating. I love this quote, that there's no keto on election night. Apparently, people are carbo-loading for this. <laughs> yeah, it's like the marathon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, cake, maybe cake. Yeah, Lots of pizza, good. pepperoni Pies. pizza yeah. is another big one. Staffing actually as well too, because like Goldman is a good example here where they might have hundreds of traders on site, people across the world. Uh, I was initially told people are going to be at election parties. So it's interesting to see how that's changed. How much are banks, hedge funds looking to have staff on site? Really a lot more and brokers, even small brokers. We talked to people that said we've never had someone stay overnight um, on an election night, and now today, uh, you know, tomorrow's election could be that time. It's interesting. You know, I was in London for Brexit, and it was the same thing. I mean, people like were that. up all night, trading floors were completely staffed, and I mean, obviously, we didn't know about the surprise that was going to come after. Um, what, are, what are they planning for in terms of the rest of the week? Because we may not know who won until Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Well, there are people have a fair number of hedges on that should work no matter who wins. Uh, people think that either way there's going to be more inflation, so there are break-even trades on uh, curve steepeners as well. So there is some idea that even if we don't know immediately, those things should protect the portfolio a little bit. 